everybody, welcome to another episode on the Book Chef Kitchen. Okay, I hope everybody's having a great day. I hope everybody's getting ready. We are just starting our last day. We are going getting closer and closer to the weekend, and the days are getting so much better lately, right? So what are we doing here? In case you didn't know me, my name is Evelyn and we are going to talk about Bebok Chef latest release, okay? Now, here at Bebok Chef, we usually specialize in everything that is grinders. Now, what are grinders? Well, grinders are these kind of blades that usually we call mills, okay? So, mills are used to usually mm, grind down or make something become smaller okay or even powdery like will it be usually grains okay so we will use it with in this in our case we use it mostly with salt peppercorns okay any other kind of dry spices and coffee now we are already starting to get closer and closer to our global better best state okay that that will be of course Prime Day. Now, if you all probably know, that means that on that day we are going to have a lot of discounts, we are going to have many times free uh, deliveries and stuff like that. So, until we get to that day, we at Bebok Chef are going to release new products, okay, for you to get to know, okay. And since, of course, usually it's normal that we just once in a while see new products, but we are not very sure how they work or how they don't work, okay? So here what we're going to do is we are going to show you how these products work and how well they perform, okay? Now, I'm going to show you, of course, we are going to start with our latest, 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 really, really out of production or newest electric grinder. I'm sure you know Bebok Chef electric grinders, okay? Ours are very famous because we are not using external batteries, we just charge our grinders and you can use them over and over again for a long period of time. Now, our newest release are these. You can look at them, okay? Look at this silver color. Oh my God, I'm dying for it, okay? So we are talking about a grinder that is made, of course, like always. We usually work with stainless steel, but this time we are working with aluminum alloy, okay? Which means that this is very light, it's not heavy at all, okay? It's honestly very light, so people with limited mobility or even children can use them without any problems, okay? We are talking about, okay, can you hear that? now? I'm sure you might be looking at this container and thinking, wow, so it's so much bigger. Yes, it's a little bit bigger and it's also made of borosilicate glass, which means it lasts a very long time and it will just resist over time. Not only that, but as every Bevox Chef grinder, spice grinder, we are talking about something very special in the core, okay? And that very special thing is that we are not using a stainless steel over there or any other kind of metal. We are going to work with ceramic. Now, why I'm mentioning ceramic? Why is so important that it's no stainless steel and that it is ceramic? Well, the reason is very simple, because we're going to use salt, okay? And when we use salt, we are going to see that, well, actually we can see it everywhere. Anytime you go to the coast and you actually look at all those houses and if there is something metallic outside, after a while it would just start to corrode, to rust, okay, and even break apart. Now, that is because of the salt. If we use any kind of metal, even if it's a stainless steel, on a grinder that is going to perform with salt, what we are going to see over time is that it's going to start to just break apart. It's not going to be as good as it should be. But since we are using ceramic here, you are going to see that it's going to last a very, very long time. The sharpness is going to also last over time, okay? And it's not going to break down. Now, these two grinders that you can see here, okay, 
these little bays are right now found in our store okay so you can go to Amazon and watch it in our store they are right now $43.99 okay it's actually a very good price for such a new product and not only that I'm going to show you how they work okay now these grinders are gravity activated so to say okay so when we put them down like this they are going to turn on in this case it's not turning on because of this I'm not pressing I didn't press no I'm not pressing I didn't press on the bottom but if I press on the bottom you're going to see first that a light comes on okay you know right now that this grinder is on okay there's a green light which means two things first the grinder is on second it has a battery because if we don't have battery, how are we going to know? Well, you are going to know because the light is going to turn red. And actually have an example to show you that in a minute, okay? Now, when we start to grind, we are going to just put it down and you can see there is a light, okay? This is not really noisy. It's actually pretty nice and sound. And you can see a light there, okay? This light is white. It's not color, any color. It's just a white light. Why I'm mentioning this? Because many times you are going to use it for cooking. Maybe you are preparing a sauce or a soup. And sometimes kitchens are very bright, but usually we don't have lights right on top of where we are cooking. It happens sometimes. I'm not saying nothing, but it's not that much common. Not for many families don't. So this light is going to help you see better where the spices are coming. And mostly when we are using a very very tight setting that we are getting powdery like results in those cases of course we are going to be need to have good lighting to be able to tell where all the spices are going we need to know where the salt is going where the pepper is going all right now let's say you like this model a lot okay you really you love it okay I'm going to turn it off first okay there it's off you love it but you're not so convinced about the color you're like mm, this is silverly I'm not sure I think I prefer something different or it just doesn't go with your decoration well we have a second option okay and that second option is right here that second option is this okay are this these are Bebok Chef, also newest uh, spice grinders, okay, in black, okay. Look at this color black, this is not bright, it's actually pretty made. You can see up close there how it looks, okay. Honestly, I really like these colors. They just, they're bright in their own merits, okay. They're really great. Now, again, we are talking about the same grinders, the same performance, and with, of course, those details that we have talked about last, like, let's say, the ceramic core, okay? Now, let's see how the core works, actually. If you look here, you are going to see there is a little knob, okay? This little knob is going to help us set the coarseness. So, if we want something to be very coarse or very fine, we are going to come here. Now, if we go in a counterclockwise motion, you're going to feel that it's slowly starting to feel less and less tight and even feels like you can push it down a little bit. Well, that means we are going to the coarse, okay? We are getting coarser results. We are going to get rock salt turn into sea salt, kosher salt, okay? It's going to still be a little bit bigger in size. But if we go in the opposite direction, so we'll be in like clockwise motion, you're going to see after a while it becomes a little bit harder to just keep going that is because we are getting the knob and the core tighter together so both blades are going to start interlocking and in that moment we know we are going to get very fine results and I'm going to show you how that works in a minute okay but now let's take a look at the battery details okay now we talk about how there is a light that turns on the moment we start uh, we started okay so if it's on and has battery it's going to turn green like this one okay you can take a look but what happens if we turn it on but there is not a lot of battery it's going to turn red can you see it there is a little red light there so this one is on with battery this one is on without battery see no battery there for work now, how do we charge it? 
until now, we were using classic micro USB chargers in a cables, at least in Remox Chef products. Now, of course, because we are an international company and we like to be open to everybody and to simplify your life, we started changing and we are using USB C, okay? Type C that you will find in HBox. It comes like this. And there is a little cable, okay? Of course, it's not very big because you don't need that much. You just need a little bit like this. And you are going to be able to charge. Now we have one extreme is, one end is actually um, type C and the other end is of course USB, normal USB. Now let's charge it a little bit, okay? Alright, there we are. How are we going to charge it? We are going to plug it into the little outlet, okay, here. And then you can see the light is on, right? It means that it's charging. Oh, actually I had to turn off. Yes, there is off. Okay, no light. If I push it, it's just red, no battery. Press it again, it's black, no light. If I connect it, it just turns red. It means it's charging. Now, there's going to be a moment when this light turns green. And that moment we are going to know that this grinder is completely charged, okay? So it's very important that we pay attention to the lighting, to the lights, of course, and see how we are going to use it. Now, I'm going to tell you if you, with one single charge, they are going to last a very long time. And honestly, it doesn't take long to charge to 100% either, okay? So this is something that honestly is going to be a life changer for you. Now, these grinders, we actually really like them because among other things, Besides being just amazing products and for some people may feel like just like a little bit like a gadget like this modern thing We're not very sure how much you want to use it or don't well There is something else and that's something else is that these grinders actually Are very good for people who are very busy or who have limited mobility so let's say we are cooking and in our recipe we have something that we need to be stirring at the same time as we need to be adding salt or pepper whatever or we just prefer to cook that way well we can be moving whatever we are cooking and using the grinder at the same time okay there's not going to be an issue there we just need one hand to use it okay not two hands just one let's say this is for someone with limited mobility just the use of one hand and just two fingers and enough to use this okay what I mean by two fingers because you just turn it on okay and hold it that's all you need just holding it with your hand is all you need to use it so even if our hands don't have that much mobility as they had in the past or for any medical reasons we are still going to be able to hold this and use it and again they are not very heavy they are pretty nice weight okay they are not much heavier than a phone so they are just great for people to use it at home or not only at home maybe just in a professional kitchen also very good product for that now we saw already of course of grinder or grinders that we have here you can find them right now on my book chef amazon store at 43.99 okay but they are not the only ones no 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 we have more. And what is that more? Well, since we are talking about new products, we are going to show you our second new product. Now, we have already seen this one last time we have been here. And these are our new coffee grinders okay so for every coffee lover that is right around there you are going to see that you are going to be able to get these beautiful beautiful coffee grinders okay now let's see how they work and why are they different to the ones we had before because of course at the bookshelf we had coffee grinders before let's see that let's take a look at the difference first boxes again we keep our, lo our lovely boxes they're just amazing they fit things perfectly. They are pretty big in size, okay? So honestly, if you need to give it a present, it's ready just to 
present to someone else. Now, on the back, you're going to see that, of course, we always have our QR code for any doubt you may have or just any detail you would like to know. And of course, we have a little description of what this product is like, okay? Have a little name and the picture. Now, this grinder is called Bebox Chef 06, okay? 06 Slim. Now, let's take a look. In each box is included a little baggie, okay? This bag is perfect to hold in the whole grinder inside, coffee beans and the handle together. We have our instructions manual, okay, or user manual, where we are going to have, of course, all the things you should know about this grinder before using it. All of here, even the settings of how, uh, which setting to use for every different kind of coffee brew. We have some troubleshooting in case you have any difficulties using or you have any doubts, precautions that you should have, some recommendations, okay and of course how to contact us and let's say you give this as a present to someone who is not um, how to say it is not very familiar with the english language or someone who is older and just maybe still speaks another language well you can still give this because at the end you can scan for this qr you can scan this qr code and you are going to be able to access four different languages manuals okay you're going to be able to access spanish italian french and german okay and very soon maybe coming even japanese now all the languages just scanning this just perfect now what else is in this box as well we have oh we have of course a little card that in this case just went down when i took the other part off of course, a Bebox Chef card. A brush. Why a brush? Because coffee grinders are better without contact with water. And for that, we are going to use just a brush to clean it. We have our handle that look at this beauty. Look, it was completely black, okay? The level, and we have, of course, the lid that is in this case completely clear transparent you can look everything across up beyond it and what else we have a little lid now this lid is going to be used for the containers that is included in the grinder of course so here is bevox chef very own 06 slim grinder okay now look at the size of this now, it's a little bit different to what we are used to, and I'm going to show you why. But right away, I think I'm, you will be able to tell the size of the hopper, okay? Look how much coffee fits into this. And it may not look like it, but in this little container that is done here, fits exactly the same amount that fits in here, okay? So there is a lot of coffee that you could be able to prepare with just one go and this coffee grinder, okay? Now, like always in Bebox Chef, we have our external dial for coarseness. So we are going to go from number one all the way to number two, three, four, five, and six. Now, do you hear that? Do you hear how smooth it is? Look. It's very simple to use, very simple to adjust, and it doesn't take extra effort. It's actually pretty fast. Now, let's take a look at the container, okay, of the coffee bean jar. Well, this is a real jar, okay? It's pretty solid, very strong. Again, aluminum alloy, okay? You can see, take a look at the Bebox Chef logo here at the bottom, all right? We have, of course, German design, made in China, and only for coffee lovers. Now, here is our little baby. This is Bebox Chef Burr Grinder Core. What does Burr mean? Burr means that 
all that gets into this grinder core is going to come across on exactly the same size. This is going to allow us to have an even result, okay? So we are going to have very fine coffee without bigger pieces of coffee, and that is going to happen usually in other different kind of grinders like electric ones, okay? Many times electric ones are not burr. There's a reason for that, they're using just normal blades. In this case, no, this is a burr. Now, Let's see how this works, but first I actually want to show you something else. Because it's not only this grinder that is here. Because, okay, you like this one, but you still kind of miss that glass that we had before. Well, you can still get this one, okay? This one is also a Chef. It's also 06, but, it con but its container is made of glass, okay? So we have a 100% glass here. Take a look. Beautiful gla glass, extra clear glass, not lime glass. Very important to know this is not lime glass. Hello everybody that is joining, welcome. We are going to prepare coffee, so if you want to stay, we are going to prepare a lot of coffee in a moment. Now, this one is a little bit different, and that difference is that actually go from number one to number six in the opposite direction, okay? So we have number one, two, three, four, five, and six, okay? All right, I'm going to wave. Hi, 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 everybody. Okay, now, let's take a look at how this works. I'm going to prepare both at the same time because drama, okay? So let's take off the lid. Of course, the handles, you can put them in both of them. No problem whatsoever, okay? Now, we are going to put coffee. Have my coffee beans here prepared. We're using Arabica. Now, look at the size. You could just pour them in, no problem or you could do something else. And actually we're going to do something else. First, I forgot, oh my God, I already forgot. First we're going to set it, okay? So we are going to go to number three today. Then I'm going to take my jar, because maybe I'm just not very sure how much coffee I need. I can put my jar, okay? So I'm just going to wait one. And then I can just do that and put it in, okay? All perfect, look, just fits perfectly on the top. So actually pretty useful in that sense there fit very perfectly in place now I can do the same with the second one where I can also put the coffee beans into this or I can put the coffee beans directly here again first we set number three and then we just pour in okay or we pour it in like this. Everything just falls into place. Now, we are going to grind. I'm going to show you first. Last time we showed you the all black one, the slim one. Today we're going to show you the glass version. Okay, so we can see the results that we get. So we are number three. We are going to hold this grinder, okay, in place. We hold it with our hands and we just start grinding. Now, because the body is so long, you're going to see that your hand fits everywhere, okay? If you want to hold it from the bottom, you could actually hold it from the bottom. If you want to hold it from the top, you also can do that. Now, this is very safe in place, okay? It's not going to just come flying out. And we are just going to start grinding. Okay, I don't know if you are able to say, to tell right now, but look at how even that coffee is, okay? It's the same size, the same coloredness all over. And like always, the secret with manual coffee grinders is an absolute control of what you want, okay? Even if Weber Chef grinder comes already prepared with different settings, you are going to see that there is absolute control of how much coffee you want. And also, just this, this kind of quietness that comes with it, okay? I'm going to add a little bit more, but I'm going to just 
pull the coffee from this other binder into here. Just a little bit more. So we are ready, of course, because we are going to prepare some coffee here. And I'm going to grind this, so I'm just going to put it there. I think I'm using the other handle. It's the same, no problem. And I just keep grinding. Just keep grinding. <laughs> it's not keep sitting, we just keep grinding. Okay, now we are almost done. You're going to know when you're almost done because you're going to start feeling less and less pressure, so to say. When you start grinding, you're going to feel like, oh, it's just staying there. And there it is, okay? Finish. Okay, now let's take a look at the coffee we got. Oh, of course, you can take a look at here. Okay, there's a little coffee residue. Now, we had the brush. We can actually use the brush to clean it. And I'm going to show you how right now. I have another brush here. Okay. We're going to take the brush and just go around. Okay. Why does some, why some coffee there? Why doesn't it all just go down? Well, because of course coffee, and because we are grinding, we are going to have some static okay and that static is going to make the coffee just go together now in the manual we make a very important aggravation that is that we shouldn't hit or shock or grind it like this it always should be in this position okay so very delicately and is mostly clean okay now let's prepare some coffee Today we are going to prepare some pour over. That's why I chose number three, okay? And for pour over coffee, we have some special needs, so to say, okay? And some of those special needs are, of course, filters. We are going to need to use a filter for filter coffee. And the Bebok Chef, we have this. Now, this is Bebok Chef filter holder okay coffee filters holder now is a very special product for us because this product is extremely versatile okay it fits almost all size of filters so let's say you have a chemex chemex filters are this size they are really big okay now they are going to fit here in place perfectly okay all thanks to this bottomless bottom okay the bottom of this is not just in a um, triangle ending it's just not in a funnel ending but actually bottom sorry but actually it's open so we want to put b filters b shape filters fits perfectly we want to put this one's double seal flat bottom fits perfectly if we want to put Shemex ones that are bigger, fits perfectly. What if what we use actually is an AeroPress? It's going to still fit in place, okay? So this will fit almost any kind of coffee filters, okay? Even if you have espresso machine and you're preparing your very own uh, paper filters for your porta filter, you are going to be able to fit them in here. 50 millimeters, no problem. 50 one millimeters, no problem, okay? Now, let's prepare some coffee. Here I have my setup, and I have my filter. Now, these kind of filters, we always need to fold them, okay? Of course, some people fold them more or less. I actually like them to, to be very tight for some reason. I know it's not the best option because sometimes it also will mean that there is no a lot of space for the air to escape like in this case it's just too tight let's make it a little bit bigger there we are now can we just start preparing coffee right now yes we can should we yes we should why not but there is something else sometimes we need to actually rinse the paper in this case we are using 
unbleached paper which means that there is no extra processing on top of it to make it smell like bleach or anything like that but we still can do it and it's what we're going to do but like always when we are working with pour over we need something else of course we can we can actually just draw water on the top of it but it's not going to taste the same it's not going to have all those beautiful notes and aromas that brew pour over coffee has so one of the things that we are going to need is this. This is a gooseneck kettle, okay? This is a very important tool in coffee making, in pour over coffee making, but of course can be used across different kind of coffee makers, even Aeropress, even French bread, okay? Why? Well, because this kind of kettle is going to allow us to have a special, extra, extreme control over the water, the water flow, the water strength, okay, and how much water we are using. Why? Well, because of this, this is pout that is very, very, very narrow and very long, is going to allow us to just tilt it a little bit and see water come out, but it will come out in such a height that if we put it like this, okay, we use it just on top of it, or careless look below it, but we are going to still have all the control we need, okay? Or we can just go on top of it. Now, I'm going to show you how it works, but first I'm going to get some water. Because even if you could use this on the stove, because you could, it's not recommended. So a little bit of a rescue move, okay? But you could use it on the stove. We are talking about 100% stainless steel covered in Teflon, okay? Now... Of course, Stefan is not in contact with what we are going to use, so it's non-toxic and we use it well source materials, but here is our water ring. Now, let's first, of course, rinse it, okay? Put some water, rinse in the paper, it's exactly that what it sounds like, it's just putting some water into the paper, into the filter paper, and just watch it get rinsed, just watch it going down. Now we are going to get rid of this water because we're not going to drink it. And now let's start with our coffee. Now from our beautiful grinders, of course we have our coffee already prepared. Look at it, how even this coffee is. And look at this. I'm just going to pour it in and you're going to see. Perfect chef there. Perfect chef. <laughs> now, we have our coffee in place. There are different techniques. But first we are going to make it even. Just shake it, shake it a little bit. Now, if we were preparing a B shape, we could make a hole in the center so we get the water to go in there more evenly. In this case, we can have a line. We can make a line with our fingers or we can just start pouring. And that is what I'm going to do. I'm going to just start pouring and you are going to see how the gooseneck kettle works, okay? Now, the first time, what I'm doing is just getting everything wet, okay? We are getting the water, get to know the coffee, and just let, let it breathe for a little bit. You're going to see it drains a little bit slowly. The water goes down slowly, it doesn't go down too fast, and it's just brewing. Now, after a few seconds, some people take 40 seconds, so it can be a little bit much, we are going to start pouring again. In this case, I'm not using, not using exact measurements, but you could use exact, me exact measurements like 40-40 or different methods. Okay, now you see how, how much control I have over the water. Just a little bit of water, even less, or a little bit more. Okay, now because I'm not using a lot of coffee, I'm going to use just a little bit. I stir it a little bit so not all the coffee goes to the to all the water goes to the same size, same place, not size place. And now we're just going to wait until it finishes brewing, okay? Turn the water. Now 
Now, this coffee is going to be dark. How do we know it? Because we use a number three setting, which is a medium fine, okay? And even if it's perfect for pour over, it's not going to give us a reddish color coffee. It's going to give us a very brown, black color almost, okay? Now, this is very soon going to be finished, and then we are going to see what we do with it, okay? Look at the color of that coffee. You can see there are some red undertones. So if we look at from up, down, or down, up, we are going to see some red. And here, just finishing right now. The um, size that the burr grinder makes is so even that even when we are finished, you are going to see that the coffee we have resulting here is just perfect, okay? It's perfect in size. Now, what is the next step? Our next step before we can actually drink this coffee is disposing of the coffee, okay? Now, we have coffee grounds now, okay? Coffee grounds are well used and well loved for a lot of people. Some people use them for getting rid of for the smells or fold the smells, okay? Some people use it for the plants because they want them to grow a little bit more. Some people compost it. And some people even use it in their hairs, okay? Now, disposing of coffee grounds is a debate. People can dispose in different ways. But something that people agree all over is that it's not just trash, normal common trash. It could be, but you can use it for something else. And that something else can be any of the things that I just mentioned. In this case, we are going to dispose of coffee the same way we will dispose of coffee pucks in a porta filter. And for that, usually we use something called nut box, okay? A nut box is this little thing I have here. A nut box is a little, in this case, it's not a box shape, it's more like a cylinder shape. It's a little trash can, bean, I would call it bean, but trash can sounds too much like trash, but a little bean, okay? Where we can dispose of coffee grounds. Now, this also includes a pole, okay? It's a very strong pole and you cannot break easily. This pole is not a toy first. It's not a toy for your dogs. It's not a for, for, for your babies because this is strong. You hear that? Very strong. Why? Because this is going to support the shape and the strength of a folder filter just going on it. It's pretty deep, so it doesn't get to the full, to the top, to the brain just very easily. But in this case, I'm going to dispose of this. This is the coffee we had. Because it's already in the filter, we can dispose it, of course, just pouring it in, or just in a very simple way that we'll be doing this. Now, what if actually I want to use a porta filter for espresso machine? But I have a little one here that we use for a very home very very home espresso machine and the way you are going to use it is in this case we don't have coffee but if we have coffee in you were just going to hit like this okay now you hear that now there is a, a noise there is a sound but there is no special shock and the reason there is no special shock is because the bottom of this knock box is also protected by silicone okay you can see there, a little bit dirty now because I had so much coffee around, but it's protected with silicone, so actually pretty, pretty useful. Now, we dispose of a coffee. We are going to get rid of our dripper. And we have our coffee ready. Of course, we always stir our coffee before drinking it. This is something that not a lot of people does, but stirring your coffee is actually going to get rid of like all that bitterness that may get when it's just there for a long time and the smell is delicious and I really want to drink it right now but I'm not going to but our coffee is ready our coffee set is ready we have porta filter ready we already use our 06, 06 slim grinder okay even the second version that was with the glass container we use also our gooseneck kettle 
and now we are ready for a lovely evening just drinking coffee okay so i hope you have that great time today and we are going to see each other very soon so until then i hope you have a great time bye bye